Okay, let's try making a cliplet. I'm going to drag and drop in an old video. And you'll notice this time what happens is a little trim video dialog came up. And that's because we can only import videos up to 10 seconds long, so it's going to ask me to trim down this video. Now I happen to know that there's this jump uh, that my daughter and her cousin do back here. Um, and so I'm going to try to capture that and use it here. So I'm just going to take this little piece here. I'll say OK. It'll load that video, align it, and here we have our, our input. And again, here's the input timeline and our cliplet timeline. So let's pick the still that's going to form the background. Let's go right up to the top where they're jumping, and let's say pick this frame. So that's going to form our background. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new layer, and it's going to be a play layer. And the idea here uh, is that I want to actually bring my daughter back down to where she's just about to jump and then have her go up and essentially join her cousin in the air let's say to right to that point where she's at the top and down here I can position that play and we'll have it occur oh let's say after a few seconds in the output 10 second cliplet and the length of time will set to be Oh, that would be, you see the little detent, that would be real. Let's make it a little slower than real time. And let's try rendering that. Oops, I forgot to do one thing. It says no mask, nothing would have happened. So I do need to draw a mask around where that action is going to be. In this case, right here. That should work. Let's try that and see what we get. Well, it looks pretty good, except, of course, you've noticed that uh, there's an arm missing here. We're going to need to do something to fix that up. So, a couple of things. One is, let's try to redraw the mask a little tighter on Lena. And also, I'm going to go back to the still, and let's see if we can just adjust that a little bit to get one where her arm's a little more out of the way. Uh, it should work there. Let's try rendering that one. All right, here's the beginning and the end. Now, that almost worked. There's one more thing I want to do is I'm going to adjust the mask one more time. Now, i got to go back to the play section and I'm going to redraw this a little bit tighter. If you notice, there was a little piece of the other girl in it. Let's render it again. Okay, there's the end of the clifflet. And here's the beginning, she's on the ground, and jump. Perfect. Okay, that's it. And again, good time to save the project or export the cliplet to create uh, your final output. That's about it.